double or even triple the capacity of your small power station without breaking the bank. There's no doubt that these small portable power packs are great. Um, all in one unit, very sexy, very stylish. You've got your AC, you've got your 12 volt output here, USB chargers, some models even have wireless charging. Um, this one, for example, has got a light at the back, charge with solar or uh, your 240 volt uh, house adapters as well. These small power packs, although are great, they do lack one thing and that is capacity, especially the smaller ones. Uh, you can go out and buy a larger system like the Blue Eddy, have a lot of larger options. Um, but they can get pricey, they can get weighty and bulky, not so portable as this is. Um, if you've got the money, then all good. But today, we're going to show you how I can double or even triple the capacity of this small power pack. Um, far, far cheaper than you would have to go out and rebuy a whole new system. By simply using an extra battery, doesn't have to be a, a lithium battery, it could be just a normal lead acid battery, but why would you when you could have a lithium battery far, far better, far more life, far more energy in these small little things, lighter, more portable, lithium's the way to go. Um, with this small battery and a little bit of a connection, you will have to DIY um, certain connections for your certain power packs different power packs will have different check connections and what we are going to do today is trick this little power pack into thinking that we're receiving a solar charge through the MPPT port What I've made up here is um, just a little connection using some 14 gauge wire with a fuse, um, soldered in a XT60 connection, female connection. Um, this connection here will plug into the MPP charge port on this Blue Eddy, for example. If you, your power pack may have a different plug, so a little bit of DIY is needed, to make up a plug. I could directly plug this into the Blue Eddy and all charge. Eighty-two watts going into this unit simply by connecting a battery to this Blue Eddy EB55. Super simple. Although this will work to a certain extent using a 12 volt lithium battery, this will work to a certain extent, but this is not the ideal setup. I'll show you what is. By going the extra step and purchasing yourself a DC to DC step up converter, I can now, instead of putting in 70 to 80 watts, I can now bump this up to around 200 watts simply by using this so we can increase the input by about three times using this simple little device here very easy to find very cheap one thing to take note of is your MPPT voltage input here if you can see that that's 12 to 28 volts at 8 amps so Make sure you do have your converter that doesn't go past your, your voltage on your unit. Your unit may be different, but this EB55, the max voltage is 28 volts, so we're going to make sure that we don't exceed that. Your unit, like I said, may be different, but obviously buy a DC converter that's going to work for your portable power pack.
I've set up this DC converter with XT60 connections so for me it's already set up ready to go I can just plug this straight from the battery into my Blue Eddy and I should get close to 200 watts now going in to this EB55 Silly to me, forgot to change out the fuse. I only had a 10 amp fuse in here, so I blew the fuse. Yeah, that's just me for you. But we can push this over here, tidy it up a little bit. As you can see, 194 watts coming from this battery into here. So now we've just, just like that, we've doubled our capacity of this small portable power station. How cool is that guys? And yes, this will, for this particular unit, I can discharge and, and charge at the same time. Keep in mind, while I'm using this battery, I won't be able to use the solar charger. So ideally you want to be using this battery extension at night time when there's no solar. But I think that's pretty cool guys. As you can see I'm putting 13 watts into this power pack. And I'm putting 194 watts into this big EB55. Well, little EB55. So there you have it guys. Another good reason to have a DC to DC converter laying around.